guys, I'm Emily Powers and today we're going to be painting this jellyfish in acrylics. It should be really fun and it's such an unusual jellyfish. It's like, I don't know what kind it is or anything, but it's like very unusual and neat looking. Um, I, I hope you can see it okay since it's on a tablet screen. My printer does not print blue very well for some reason. And it's not that we're low on blue, it's just it doesn't print blue. Well, for some reason, it puts blue streaks and everything, so I don't know why, but anyway. And sorry about that noise, my cat's playing with her mouse under the table. <laughs> um, but the canvas panel is a little different than what I normally use. It's a 8 by 10 instead of a 9 by 12 just because it's a little more of a square. And I just thought this would look kind of cool on more of a square looking board. Plus I had one, so <laughs> it kind of worked out. But this is a Daler Rowney. Um, it's like the canvas panels you would get at Walmart. But I don't know if I'm saying that right. But um, it's like you get three in a pack at Walmart. And the brushes I'm using, I'm going to use a one inch bright. For the main part of the background, the background stuff. And then I'm going to use like a quarter inch flat, I believe this is, for like, you know, the main parts of the jellyfish. And then a round brush. I use this round a lot just mainly because it's one of the good ones that I have and it holds a lot of paint. So. And I think I might also use like a toothbrush um, for putting like some little, there's like some little dots in the water. I don't know exactly what it is, but it can, we can like splatter and make it kind of interesting. You could also use like a, a bristle fan brush and like tap it like this. Um, and that would make splatters, but this makes them a lot smaller, I think. You can make big ones, but it tends to be bigger, I think, when you use the fan brush. Toothbrushes tend to make it smaller. So just make sure you're not going to use this one again. Because <laughs> you would not, that would be bad. So, um, I'm, oh, and I didn't go over the paint. Um, the, I have two different whites. This is titanium white and this is mixing white. Um, so if you're wondering why I have the two different batches here. This one is opaque, so it'll cover better, and then this one is transparent, so it'll, um, when we go over certain things and add different colors to it, it'll make it to where it's see-through, just like the jellyfish. Um, the top of the head and stuff is kind of see-through. You can see the blue back behind there. So that'll help us to get that. And I may use some like glazing medium too. Um, this is golden gloss glazing liquid. Sorry about that noise. I was closing my drawer. <laughs> um, so we might use this um, in case we don't really want it to be white. This is just like the clear. It's almost like the stuff that's in paint, like the polymer stuff um, that's in the paint already just without any color. So, it's just like clear paint, basically, in a way. So, I'm going to start with my one inch bright, and I'm going to dip it in my water and then tap it on my rag. And I'm going to get, actually, I didn't go over all the paint, did I? I did the two whites and I didn't do the rest. Um, this is yellow ochre, that's yellow ochre deep. I believe I don't use that a whole lot but I thought I have it so why not use it that's just you could probably get something like it just by adding um, yellow ochre with the burnt umber probably make something similar just do mainly the yellow and then this is phthalo blue ultramarine blue and burnt umber so I'm just going to get both of these blues to make like a middle blue out of it. And I'm going to get a little bit of white just 
to lighten it just a little bit. I'm going to see how that color is. Mm, I think that's pretty good. So I'll put that on. And you may want to go over another time, do another coat. I may even do that, I'm not sure. But right now we're just going to cover the whole thing in this middle blue. You can go up and down or sideways, it doesn't really matter. Um, but anyway, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I have uh, several other painting videos, and this is acrylic paint. I do, I've done like a bunch of acrylic painting videos because this is kind of kind of painting I know how to do. I don't really know as much about other <laughs> kinds, so if you're looking for like watercolor stuff, this is, I don't do watercolor stuff, but. <laughs> and I do like some easier ones and some harder ones. Um, so that you, you know, no matter whether you're a beginner or um, you've been doing it a while, there will still be a tutorial that you can do. Or you can just watch me if you want. I like just watching other people paint sometimes too. And so this one's going to be an easier one. It's not, I don't think it's going to be that hard. I mean, it may be a little bit, I mean, I don't know, I haven't done it yet, but I really don't think it's going to be that bad. I'm hoping to get some actual square canvas panels. So we can do like some square paintings because I just really like the square. Certain things I just think would, would look good on a square. I've got a bird um, picture that I think would look really neat on a square. So I don't really want to do it until I have the square boards <laughs> just because I think it looks really neat that way. Alright, so that's all covered now. I'm going to rinse my brush out and I'm going to dry it with my hair dryer. Um, make sure when you use a hair dryer to do it on the cold setting or the coolest setting on your hair dryer and hold it like maybe eight inches away because if you hold it too close or you get it too hot it will like crack and make weird spots in your paint so you don't want that to happen. So I'm going to dry it and come back for the next step. Okay, so now that this is dry, um, I'm going to go over with the same blue, and I think I might go this way this time, instead of vertical. I think I'm going to go horizontal. Um, I'm not sure, I'll tell you after, but um, I think I'm just going to skip me doing this part, just because, you know, I'm just doing the same thing. Um, but um, it's not co quite covering. So that's why I'm going to give it a second coat. But I think I'm going to go this way. I'll tell you which way I decide to do it after I'm done. But I'm going to uh, skip this part and tell you what I did. Okay, so now that this is dry, um, what I did is I just went over with the same blue, went to vertical, and you can see how much better it's covered um, from that jump. You can see it's a lot um, more blue than it was. You can see a bunch of streaks and everything. Now it's much better. So if your paint covers well already, if it's like good the first time, you probably don't need to do it a second time, but I did. So I'm going to splatter now with some little light blue dots here. 
So I'm getting the titanium white and adding it to this blue mixture. And I'm going to thin it out. I got a little bit too much white, I think. That's more like the color. I actually like a lighter color, but I don't want to overpower it, so I'm just going to test. Okay, it's not quite there. So you want it like milk, um, consistency of milk, and you want to like kind of dab some of it off on your paper towel. And I'm just going to take my thumb and do like that straight down. I don't want a whole lot of dots, just a few, like that. And it looks kind of like stars now, so I'm going to like tap them out a little bit. Okay, so it uh, kind of looks like the sky at the moment, but... It'll look like water once we get the jellyfish in there. <laughs> so now I'm going to get my glazing medium out. Let's see, where did I put it? <laughs> um, and I thought I would say that um, I, my Facebook group, Powers Paint and Post, I am like uh, stopping it for the moment. I'm just going to focus on doing YouTube videos and getting that built up. I might start it back later, but at the moment I'm just going to focus on the YouTube. So, just thought I'd say that real quick. And I'm going to need more blue here. Let's see. I don't know which blue. Maybe the phthalo blue would be better. So, I'm going to get more phthalo blue. And um, you could use water for this part. If you don't have um, glazing medium, but I think the glazing medium makes it a little smoother. Um, I don't really know, um, just because it's actually the binder and uh, you know because it's basically the paint without the pigment. Um, it's just much. I think it blends a little better. It, it tends to get streaks for me when I use just water. So this is better for me anyway. But if you don't have it, you can use water. So I'm taking phthalo blue and burnt umber, more phthalo blue, and putting it on the sides like this. And then as I go around, I'm going to and to wipe the paint off my brush and then just get the glazing medium. So now I didn't reload, I just got more glazing medium. Okay, so the darker around this edge. I'm kind of making it like a dark around the edges and light in the middle. That's what I'm doing. You just want to do it quickly though because you want it to be smooth. You don't want any weird spots that aren't blended well. You can see all those um, little dots we did, they're kind of um, faded. So I didn't want them to be super bright just because I didn't want to be like, what are all those little dots in the water? <laughs> so 
just there you go that's really cool looking I know it's kind of got a shine on it but you can kind of see what we did so that's I really love this already it's like super cool looking so I'm gonna dry it again I know it's been a lot of drying um, so far but now we're gonna get to the fun part which is the jellyfish so I'm going to uh, stop and dry it again and we can move on to the fun part Okay, so now that this is dry, I'm going to take some school chalk. This is just white school chalk. Um, I tried to raise the canvas up more because it's really bad shine since we use that glazing liquid. It's very shiny. But um, I hope it doesn't. Uh, yep, that's okay for everybody. Um, so I'm going to kind of put it kind of sort of in the middle. So top of his head. I'm going to curve around. Like this. It's at an angle. So make sure you get that angle. So this is about like the middle right here. So you can kind of see this is probably the f uh, fourth. So the top of the head is like at the fourth. And that's where that is. So, and then it's got a part that comes around like this. And we're seeing like the under part, under up here. And then there's like another piece that comes around and gets skinnier as it wraps around. Make this top of the head a little bigger. Okay, and then you can see kind of through there's like a piece that comes around like this. So it's kind of like a circle in a circle almost. Okay, and then it comes down. And out. Right, and there's like these little, um, like triangle type shapes like that that kind of come off of them. So, kind of like one here and other kind of sort of one here. He doesn't have to be perfect because, I mean, they're, you know, they move around, like, <laughs> so they're not always going to be in the same spot. And there's one that's kind of like in between these two back here, between these, between these, and then there's kind of one that's back here, then one here, and one here. So it's almost like a uh, little swooping up strokes. It's almost like grapes, um, almost, um, the bottom. And then there's like these little things that kind of come off of him. But we'll do that later. We're not going to draw that part in. So let me see if this, if this is too high. Yeah, it's probably better. It shouldn't be that high. Okay, so now we can get to putting them in. So I'm going to take my uh, quarter inch flat. And I think first I'm going to start on this inner part because um, you can see through the head top part into this part. So I'm going to put that in first. Um, since you're kind of seeing through it, this should be under. So, I'm going to get the titanium white. And make sure you get some water to help it flow well. I'm going to get a little bit of the yellow ochre. Don't want a whole lot though, so it's just slightly tinted yellow.
okay, and put that in here. I'm going to really quickly take some glazing medium and kind of fuzz it out. Because it kind of blurs. So kind of get the blurry effect. Okay, and then just fill that in there. And then I'm going to take the glazing medium, pull this down, kind of take that clear and pull it down to these try to get it actually clear so it just got a little bit of that other on there And now we'll try to kind of clean this trans transition up. So then do like some of this uh, uh, yellow color, it's a little darker, and put this like, well, it might be a little too wet right now. We'll do these little pockets of, I don't know exactly what they are, the little end pieces. <laughs> little triangle spots and just kind of like tap it in and I'm just using mainly the white with a little bit of that uh, yellow color Okay, and then I'm going to get some of this yellow ochre deep, and I've already got some white from what was on my brush already. I'm going to take that and put these ones on this side because they're a little darker. I've got a little bit of white on it. Get a little bit of glazing medium with it. So that one's kind of clear. And so is. 
There was this other one. You can tell it's there, but it's kind of a little more clear. Okay, and then it comes back to being lighter. Do like that. Okay. So it's kind of in the ugly stage right now. It looks kind of weird, but who knows? I might not ever make it look good. Because <laughs> I mean, I've never done this before. So at some point, I'm probably going to film a video and it's going to turn out really bad. Not that I wouldn't post it anyway, because, you yeah. know. I can't just not post a video just because I don't like it. Who knows, Some somebody might like it even though I don't. And really, uh, that kind of shows that no one's perfect, so. Okay, so I think I'm gonna let that dry because if I do anything else, I'll either lift up the color or uh, yeah, that's basically all. <laughs> I'll lift up the color. So I can't really do the head because that would be lifting up what we just did. And if I do any more on that, it would be lifting that up too. So I'm just going to leave that there for the moment and we'll do the next part in a minute. Okay, so now we will roll on to the next part. Um, I think I'm going to take this brush again that we've been using and take the same color with that yellow in it and we're going to kind of make some Uh, each one of these legs kind of has this weird fuzzy thing that happens down to it, like that. Put one of these down. here is a little fuzzed out. Okay, so I got some glazing anyway, just kind of fuzzed out where all this started. Okay, and now I'll take some yellow ochre deep. darker side. Put some of this um, on this transparent one where it's not transparent. And one of these to these. And I'm taking this in between mixture of what we, those two that we're both just now using. I'm gonna put some on the side, these white ones. Give them some depth. And then I'll take some white with just a little bit of the yellow ochre. Kind of 
go over them. I may even take this in between mixture and kind of go on top of some of these. a glazing liquid and we'll do actually I might take the zinc white the zinc white or mixing white you could use zinc white if you wanted to it's getting some blue in there okay and Put that across this middle section. And then I'm going to get some of the yellow ochre deep mixture we had, put it on the top there. more yellow on the top. Okay, and then right in here I'm going to kind of go different direction. I'm going to go this way. Okay, and then I'll take some glazing medium and go in this clear part. Okay, so I'm just trying to wrap that yellow around um, to the edges and took the glazing medium and kind of put some uh, faded white in there in a way. Glazing medium plus what was in my brush kind of fogs that middle part. Okay, and then think and take some yellow ochre deep with a little bit of burnt umber and put that in these white spots and get the light yellow mixture. I'm going to get some of the mixing white for these back areas. I may need to be a little stronger. This is the two whites together. Just need to be titanium white. This part. Lighten that up. Some fuzzies coming out. All right, now. I'm going to do these like little strings that are kind of coming off them. The uh, tentacles, I guess. 
I don't know if these are called the tentacles or if there's other things. I don't know what part stings. This part doesn't really... I think it's these things that come down that would sting. No. Um, so I'm going to take burnt umber and a little bit of phthalo blue. And a lot of the glazing medium first. And I'm going to take one right here and pull it down. I'm going to take it more full strength. See how that does. So you can see it kind of, it's darker here, and then as it goes up, it turns like transparent. So I'm going to get that clear again. And there's one that kind of comes down here, but it never really turns to where you can see it that much. One in there. And it kind of crosses over and then it turns dark at the tip. You can see that okay. Okay. Okay, and then the light again, clear. Kind of comes off of this one. Get a little bit of the dark. This is actually kind of fun doing these things off of him. Or her. And he just has like a little bit of dark on him. And then there's one <clears throat> that's kind of like white almost. So I'm going to get the mixing white. And then get some of the dark, get some of it in here. Okay, and then I'm going to get the titanium white, mix it a little bit with some of this, just so it's not super vibrant. And at the ends of a few of these, there's like a little white, or a light highlight. End. Like that. So it's not on all of them. Just kind of, so like these, these are the ones. This one might have just it barely, maybe. So if you take some of the, make it a little darker. Might have some right there that this one doesn't really it might have that same color try it I actually made this one go the opposite direction of what it does in the picture but that's the nice thing about painting is that no one would ever know if they ever saw the picture and actually that's just such a little mistake that even if they saw the picture they probably wouldn't notice that you did this the opposite way you know because I mean you'd have to like try to be looking for mistake, which we kind of want to try to look for the mistakes, um, so that we'll know if we did something wrong, if we did something not quite right, we want to look for the mistake to see if we could fix it, but 
really you should just be happy with however it comes out because it's going to come out different. I mean, you should try to improve, but still be happy with what you can make. So that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry because all this done here, it's looking pretty good. I might do a little bit more to it, but it's this top that really needs work working on. So I'm going to dry it again and come back. All right, so now that's dry, and I took the chalk off <clears throat> by um, dipping my rag in the water and just wiping it off. You just want a damp rag. You don't want it, like, soaking wet or anything. Um, so just kind of get a little bit of water on your rag and rub that off carefully. If you, like, scrub it or anything, you know, like, take the paint off because the paint has not cured. So if you mess with it too much with the rag, it will come off. So don't want to do that. So I think I'm going to, see I'm trying to figure out what I want to do to make this top look neat. I'm going to get the zinc white and a little bit of the yellow ochre. And make sure to get a little bit of water so that it'll flow. Put that on the top. Now I can see how to get it smooth. I'm going to get the zinc white. to take the yellow ochre deep and kind of put that in there. Okay, and then I'm going to take the glazing medium and I still have that color on my brush. And I'm just going to go around I might take the zinc white for this part. Some on top of that. And just kind of brush the opposite way a little bit just to kind of make it not like it's a super distinct line or anything. Okay. And let's see, are we ready for the the little dot? Be ready for the little dots now. I'm gonna put some of these like things in here. Okay, I'm gonna take some titanium white, find a spot, and I'm just gonna put some white on those these little fuzzy thing leg things, tentacles, what you might call it, <laughs> and stick that in there. do 
the little white dabs. I might um, real quick take some of this like white yellowish color and just kind of take it to kind of redefine that top or that little ball thing that's in there. Really, I think it was a little more squished out than a ball shape, but it's in there now. If I really wanted to, I could probably change it, but since it's a video, I don't really want to mess with it. Um, I'm going to take my round now and take the white, this just plain white, titanium white. And we're going to do these like little dabs in, of dots in here. And here they're kind of like pulled. And they kind of go around like the... Like the jellyfish goes around and there's like a light, lot of white in here as it comes around and then it kind of just do these little dabs and dots like in these sections I think there's more dots because you're kind of seeing the dots on the other side of him and then up here there's not as many because you're just seeing pretty much that one side I wonder if, you know how, like, uh, is it giraffes and not any two have the same spots and not any two zebra have the same stripes and everything? I wonder if it's that way with the jellyfish, like, if no two have the same amount of spots. <laughs> I mean, that would kind of make sense. The edges they're kind of smaller. I did a big one over there on accident. Then towards the middle they can kind of get bigger. I'll take some zinc white and just kind of hit some dots, maybe mainly on these sides. I'm going to get some glazing medium because I don't want it to be that visible. I'm just kind of put some in there because I like to see some dots that are kind of in the back, mainly on the sides. and the top 
so that's where you'll be seeing more of the spots like that. We'll get more of the titanium white. We'll put some dabs in there. Okay. And then get that glazing medium again with a little bit of the white and put some, there's like some back in here. Very faint. And there's even a little bit of, let's put some yellow ochre deep with the glazing medium. We'll put like some, just like a, what's it called? Some lines or something of yellow back here. some of that yellow ochre deep actually that we just had and uh, stick some kind of in the middle of these some of these get some glazing medium with some like white and kind of stick it in the, these back because I'm sure it's not really not actually really holes there really really cool in the camera it's like super cool when you like um, step back you can like really see how cool it looks it almost looks like it's glowing it's really neat I like it it's so cool okay yeah I think that's good I think I'm just gonna stop there I think that's good enough so I'm going to take my uh, Faber Castell put artist pen and sign it. Yeah, this one definitely wasn't that hard. Um, and I make sure you do it like a finger's width away from the sides because you don't want to don't want to cover it if you ever frame it. see that yeah I guess it's I don't like my name being like to where it's like so visible that it's like whoa what is that <laughs> but uh, I also want it to actually be shown so just hoping that it would be it might be good. It seems like whenever I varnish paintings, the name kind of stands out. Everything kind of stands out better, but uh, it really, it, this is not very hard. Um, probably the harder part is doing the glazing medium and the zinc white, getting the transparent parts, um, with the tentacles and that kind of thing, but I don't think it's that hard. So, yeah, I think um, and I hope you uh, try it because it's really neat looking and fun. So, um, the, uh, let's see, where is it? Um, this month, June, is now over for our paintings anyway. It's not really over, over, but, um, so this was the schedule we had. Um, all these other paintings are on my channel, so if you want to check them out, then you can. Um, they're, they come out really neat, um, especially this one, this one came out really cool, I like that one. Um, so those are out, and July is going to be these. So, sorry my printer, like I said, acts up on blue, but, um, this is like, I think this is like an, an anemone flower, I think, I think it was, is what it's called. I don't know that I'm actually going to put that in the description though because I'm not really sure if that's what it's called or not, but um, 
This is the dolphin that we have jumping out of the water. That should be an easier one. And then the owl, that one, I this picture is so cool. It's probably gonna be a much harder one though. And then the beach should be easier. And then the Eiffel Tower, that one's gonna be a harder one too. So only got two easier ones in the month, but uh, I alternate between easy and hard. So um, yeah, this one was really fun. I hope you try it. Um, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel so that you can watch other painting tutorials whether you just want to watch or you're actually going to be following along. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye!